All right, so I'm going to start this video with uh, a review of this Atherin ready to roll uh, DCC sound equipped F59 PHI in Amtrak California paint scheme. Road number is 2002. So <clears throat> we've got this. Uh, diagram, exploded diagram of all the uh, different uh, features and details and all the stuff that were uh, installed. Really nice to me, at least in my eyes. I've got uh, a lot of stuff in there. There's this uh, quick start guide that the model comes with. As you can see, it's got all these uh, Come on. Focus. got the uh, decoder function assignments and a lot of cool neat little features with this locomotive so it's got a really nice package way to go Atherin take the pla that plastic wrapper off and there it is in all its glory really neat to me, um, grab my pointing stick here. I'm gonna go off. On, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm gonna go off on some details. So, so the first thing I'm gonna point out is it's got a nice uh, P PTC array detail here. Uh, it's got a five chime K5LA uh, horn detail in here. Uh, grab irons for, and uh, door details, steps. It's got a uh, pretty accurate paint scheme for 90s era. Radiators, grab irons on the rear. Let's just move that a little forward and see the uh, rear porch details. Uh, rear steps. Um, I might. I'm not too sure if they're etched in, but I mean, I'm no expert in this. I'm just a, uh, a modeler and um, anyways, I'm going to be pointing out there's a rear light here. Got this uh, vent, uh, stanchions and rear porch couplers. I think they're KDs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, looking at the front of the windshield, windshield is really nice uh, molded plastic as well as the uh, headlight hoods, uh, ditch lights, plow is really nice, uh, pretty accurate for my, from my understanding. Um, you've got the uh, nice streamline of the uh, of the fuel tank here. You've got your fuel uh, on both sides. You have fuel uh, cap fuel shut off and then fuel gauges and, uh, uh, and then you got nice fluting and radiator grills on this side pretty accurate for a, a CDTX uh, locomotive from this era and I do like the paint scheme um, this is why I bought it I didn't want to get the the current Amtrak California D, uh, uh, paint scheme as it just seems to me like it's just a panty <laughs> a pair of panties on the on the locomotive it doesn't it just doesn't look attractive to me I like nice street uh, nice nearly straight lines here um, as I remember growing up seeing these locomotives in Northern California and um, just nice roof detailing and nice uh, grill patterns here. And 
and uh, we'll be moving on to the next sec uh, section of the video. I'm going to show off the uh, the audio features here, the uh, the sound. So I've got my uh, system powered up. Let's turn the track power on. And right away, you've got um, the prime mover. Sounds like there's an alarm turning on there. focus um, you got the prime mover going you have several other features going on there let's uh, I've got my uh, my deep my digitrax uh, stuff going on here so let's turn that in. nice k3la horn got a nice um, K3A, K3LA. Let's turn on the bell there. Let's take a look at the headlight features here. Really nice um, LED uh, headlights. And there's the, uh, or I'm sorry, those were the ditch lights. And then we got the headlights. Let's put that in focus. Come on, get in the focus there. So the headlights come on, and uh, it's really, really bright. Let's take a look down here on track on track level. Very frustrating. <sighs> My camera does not want to cooperate with me today. So, you've got the bell. Nice uh, e-bell. Or is it a mech bell? I'm not too familiar with the... Uh, bells there. The ditch lights uh, activate with the uh, horn signal. And that's uh, uh, function three. Not sure if that did anything. Uh, the ditch lights come off with the on my uh, DT 600, 602D um, on my uh, throttle here so I've got function 5 and that turns it on and turns it off I'm not sure what 6 does 7 dims 8 uh, turns it off or shuts off the uh, sound let's turn that back on okay so that really 9 didn't do anything function 9 didn't do anything function 11 um, uh, activates the air brakes Function 12 does nothing. Thir 13 is the uh, coupler. Oh, I'm going to have to use those sounds for uh, future uh, videos. 14 does nothing. 15. 16 does nothing. 17 does nothing. 18 does nothing, 19 does nothing, and let's see what uh, 21 does nothing, 20 does nothing, 22 does nothing, so function 23 is all aboard from the engine, uh, from the conductor, 24, nothing audible, 25, nothing, 26, nothing oh wait that sounds the uh, throttle position so notch one two three four 
So that sounds the throttle. Interesting. So 26 takes down the throttle. 28. Full throttle sounds like. 29. Uh, oh, so there's 28 functions. Oh, that's right, 28 functions on the on this. So on my lamp, this is really going to be uh, useless. Let's just have that going around the lamp a little bit. Now I'm going to reset my uh, switch here, actually. Have that go around behind the computer. And then let's see that coming through here. And we got a derailment. I don't know why that shouldn't have derailed. Okay, what's going on? Oh, it's having power power issues. Really nice um, K3LA <clears throat> uh, detail on that sound. And let's just uh, let's turn off all those other functions. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Back to uh, idle position. Oh. For whatever reason, it's got a real heavy slippage issue going on there. And now I want to take a look at the uh, reverse lights, if they come on. And look at that, there is a reverse light. Let's see what other light features are on here. So seven is a light dimmer. I would have thought there were other functions on this. Five on the ditch lights. And there's only one rear LED light here. I'm, I could have sworn there were more to this. But then again, this is just the first up uh, unboxing and uh, review. So now I'm going to uh, take this off the late the, the track for a moment, and we're going to look at uh, the uh, fire the engineer side of the locomotive. Not much different, other than um, this being the true direction that the train would probably more likely uh, operate on but I do I do love the look of this I do love the paint scheme from the early 2000s and the, the, the original paint scheme that was as delivered in the 1990s and let's back up the train or back up this engine For 
some reason it doesn't want to cooperate here. Uh -oh. And we're going to couple on to this train here. <laughs> Naturally. Uh, let's see, where is my handy dandy uh, there? My stick here. Let's uh, get these couplers engaged. It's got a really, really nice loud K3LA or K5. Is it K3LA or K5LA? I believe in. A, okay, so ignore my earlier comment of it being a K3LA. It's a K5LA. There's something, I don't know what's going on here, but it's not, okay, there's some kind of slippage going on there. For some reason, I don't know what's going on here, but it does not like these uh, these boxing switches. I know the track, the, the track, the rails are on, or the wheels are on the track. So for some reason, I'm having trouble with getting my engine to run over these flanges on this boxing switch. But as you can see, it's got really, really fine detail. Hopefully when I get my actual uh, ca California cars going, this will be a little more easier to run them. But let's push this train back into the, uh, into the yard here. As you can tell, I like this engine. I like it a lot. Um, if you and just so you know, I bought this from Model Train, Model Train Shop, I think. Model Train. Oh, what the hell is the website called? Here's a nice close-up. I did buy this locomotive online. From modeltrainstuff.com. Um, this was about 200 and something dollars. I'm going to look at my uh, confirmation. It was 243.60 for uh, DCC and sound. Um, <laughs> it's just a for me, as a Northern California uh, resident, um, seeing these locomotives on a near daily basis, come on, focus, there we go, on a near daily basis in uh, Davis, California, about 10 miles uh, south of where I currently live. Um, this is something that I've always wanted to have, and um, I believe Athern, Athern has um, a variety of paint schemes for this particular locomotive. Uh, most most of the ones I've seen recently are from the Metra Heritage schemes. Um, but I recommend if you want to get this locomotive, please order it from Train uh, Model Train Stuff. Um, just the 
the cab detail it looks to me um, let me see if I can get my uh, flashlight from my tarantulas here <laughs> let's take a look inside the cab uh, not really any detail um, looks like there's some wiring for the uh, headlights but um, if I were to do a detailed brief oh, oh here's something I did notice there's the K5LA horn right there right here and you've got your exhaust here's my exhaust and um, other electrical some other electrical component if you know what it is please put it in the comments below there's a PTC uh, array this just uh, it, to me it's this is something I've always wanted and you can have it too if you just uh, save your money or, or spend your money a little wisely but there's the fuel cap and there's the uh, uh, the engineer side fuel cap and the engineer side fuel shutoff switch. The truck details are pretty much accurate for a uh, locomotive that I uh, for this locomotive. Uh, grab irons and steps and um, other fine details. The plow looks pretty spot on from from my perspective. Uh, couplers, I'm not sure if they're Katie's. But to me, I love it. I love the details, the, the grab iron, like I said, the grab irons. Let's move this up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I think that's another radiator vent. Um, number boards. I don't believe this one had number boards. Um, if it did, it did have it on the front, or it does have it on the front on this model. The headlight. Uh, casing and the ditch lights. I'm not sure how to activate these, um, but I believe if I remember reading or watching the uh, Atherton videos that they do activate. Um, just probably takes some special wizardry that uh, my layout really doesn't need. But I love love on this on the door here. You've got a window here. I think that's a door. Uh -huh. Well, some kind of, oh, that's the cab light, or that's the rear light. Where's the rear light here? Forget which. Let's find out. <laughs> okay, so that that right there is the rear rear light. Um, hopefully, hopefully this uh, can allow me to run on some layouts. I do want to do that someday. But as you can tell, right now I've got my layout kind of uh, topsy turvy. Um, if you look over here, I'm redoing. Okay, let's shut that off. I'm kind of redoing um, the track work in this area here. Um, I've got a little LED light system going on here. So the idea is I'm going to have track connecting here. I'm going to have a spacer track or pa spacer piece of track here and then I'm gonna have a second uh, track here going along the main line and the siding is going to be a little different I'm just uh, I've, I've decided to switch from other stuff but um, anyways that's gonna be another totally different video I just wanted to focus on this locomotive this Athern F59 PHI in Amtrak California scheme uh, in the 1990s, as modeled in, or as painted in the 1990s, um, and the locomotive I bought is 2002, and um, it's not really pro. It's not really you. This locomotive wouldn't be running on my layout, but it's kind of fun to just put it on a uh, on a layout and demonstrate it instead of just showing a uh, you know a, a quick mock-up video like other reviewers do but uh, like I said as far as I can tell every detail on this is spot-on now there might be some other uh, modelers who might nit nitpick the details I'm not exactly I'm not exactly a stickler for ultra detailing but if you want to run it 
like a look like a real Amtrak train here it is and once again uh, I want to thank you all for watching this video please like and subscribe and I, I mean I mean it please like and subscribe I need I need more subscribers but uh, there it is